Hey landlords, Nicole Kirby here, real estate investor and the founder of the Better Than Success Real Estate League. And today I wanna to start something a little bit different. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we do a live real estate Q&A session where we answer anybody's questions about real estate. And we have a different season that plus me on the panel to answer all your questions. And what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to start cherry picking the questions that come on the Q and a session and answer them for you. Our members get access to the recordings, but we don't record it and post it to the public. And sometimes they make our podcast, but for the most part, these juicy questions get answered and then they just go into the ethos. So we are going to start answering these questions. Some of them, one of the questions was as follows. What is a great way to help my son build credit? He keeps applying for things and he gets denied because he doesn't have any credit. What is a great way to help my son build credit? Okay, so I'm assuming that this person's son is, actually I know that this person's son, because I know our members, one of our members asked this question, I know this person's son is an adult. So this is a great question. So here are some things that you need to do if you have children that are teenagers and these are the things that you need to do to help them build credit okay first things first is when they turn 15 you can add them as authorized users to your credit cards this will give them some credit history they will also inherit your good payment if you have low utilization on the card they will inherit that they will start to build credit if you do this, by the time that they're 18, they can get a car note in their name with a really low interest. I know. So you want to make sure you do this as soon as they turn 15 so that they can start building some credit history. The other thing I recommend to everyone that's young in my life, when we had staff in the office and we had all these young people working, but I will really try to encourage them, especially the ones that were like really young, 20, 21, go ahead and get credit cards, get them now. Because we all know that one of the factors that goes into building your, your credit score is the age of your account. So if you get them while you're young, the credit, the age of the accounts will only be young, like for a short amount of time. So hurry up and get them. You know, when my son turns 15 or when he turns 18, if the rules are the same, I'm going to go and have him knock it out and get five cards in one day. So that by the time he's 23, he'll have his age of accounts will be already five years old. And he'll have five accounts. And then you do it in one day because if you do it on the same day, when the inquiries hit, the other creditors can't see the other inquiries the same day. So you do it the same day. Now your credit is going to be trash <laughs> because the age of your accounts are going to be so young and those limits are going to be so low for a couple years. But after like three years, three or four years, you use them, you pay them off, and then you try to increase the limit over time and you can get some good limits. By the time they're 23, they're good as gold, right? So those are two things that you can do now to help your children lay and establish a good foundation for good credit so that they can do what they need to do. So you don't, they don't have to be looking at you to co-sign on anything, you know? All right, landlords, don't forget every Thursday, 7 p.m. You can come for free. Go to betterthansuccess.com forward slash events. And we have an amazing podcast. We have two podcasts, but the one that I want to talk to you about right now, the other one is called the Better Than Success Podcast, or it's called Better Than Success. And this one is called Better Than Success Real Estate News Briefing. It's only four or five minutes and you get your real estate news in four to five minutes. That's it. I know, I know. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because you get all your real estate information here. I love it. I'm super happy that you're here. So, all right. Until next time, love you all.